good morning good afternoon and very good evening to everyone my name is sophia son i am the program manager of the tech platform so right now this session is on the effective teamwork the teamwork the resources the apps how you can increase the efficiency of the teamworks what are the tools which are required in this teamwork so this explanation will be given by mr shubham dumbre this is the eighth session of the shubham dumbre and in this session you will learn about this the team work so i just uh, like to introduce mr shubham dumbre hello Shub hi, hi shubham sir. how are you i am fine very good morning very good morning so um, are you ready with the session yes yes all set okay so i'll just start the screen yeah uh, okay i have added the screen and people who are watching this video you can ask any of the questions right now or whenever you will see this video you can ask queries you, you want any other information you can ask any time so we are there to help you out with each and every queries which you have so all the very best mr shubham for the session thank you sophia uh, you're welcome yeah i'll start so very good morning good afternoon good evening everyone this is shubham dumbre back with one other powerful topic that is effective team collaboration apps tools and resources now uh, due to pandemic and uh, many other constraints we have switched to the online and you say virtual kind of a workspace where we need to uh, share things we need to share documents we need to uh, access files on the cloud we need to chat instantly message and uh, there are a lot many things that we have to like conduct and carry out but during this whole process many a times we are not aware that how uh, uh, there are different tools which actually benefit us and there are many features in these tools which we are not aware of so today's session will particularly focus on these apps tools and resources that how we can collaborate effectively how we can uh, channelize our energy into something worth and get the desired outcome in a better manner so let's start with the session so the topic for today is effective team collaboration applications tools and resources so uh, the very first thing i have like broken down the word team into uh, its you say specific definition that is together everyone achieves more that is t e a m so uh, why is this session very important for everyone who is like working in some team or working in some organization or working for some you say or, or entity why is it necessary because nowadays we all have like uh, different kinds of circles maybe some are just for sports some are for cultural events some are for you say carrying out some project task program activity etc but while doing so uh, the major problem that we face is like how can we organize that all work in a better manner how can we uh, channelize it into such a manner that yes it would make some meaningful sense out of it we would be able to find out what is the best effective way strategy to execute the task and how can we attain the uh, desired outcome in a more efficient way so in order to understand that the today's topic is very important and i would uh, recommend you all to like uh, pay attention to this whole session because uh, while researching i myself was very shocked after looking at so many tools and uh, yeah like we are not aware i would say because there is a lot available on the web but we probably have not surfed that much we have hardly used a part of it not even a part of it and now what we we are going to explore ahead in the slides is something that can like really benefit you to utilize your time manage your time your organization your business or as you could say uh, the whole career path what you want to select in a better manner so let's proceed ahead with the idea together everyone achieves more now effective team collaboration is the future ahead let's understand the need of this remote team collaboration online remote work and work from home has now become a new normal uh, not only now but in future also many companies will be switching to this online model because uh, it saves a lot of money it saves a lot of infrastructure and uh, yes it is better to like have a global talent to working together as a team uh, instead of just restricting them to the boundaries so work from home is the new normal and many businesses enterprises and teams depend a lot on online collaboration from now ahead so collaboration tools facilitate uh, teams to work together on different tasks and projects in a streamlined manner so as i said like there are multiple uh, use cases with these collaboration softwares tools resources and uh, 
each of them whatever uh, like we have heard of like like uh, skype or uh, uh, you say messenger or you say some some kind of slack asana or different tools some of you might have heard these names but uh, believe me there are a lot many uh, alternatives there are a lot many solutions which can easily like benefit us a lot in a lot many different ways and the thing is we are not aware of it so collaboration tools can facilitate you to organize your work time and your energy into a better manner with so many co-working apps out there yes it is difficult to understand which is the best one which is the most preferred one which is the top most one or you say uh, which is the one that suits your best case or use case so uh, we will explore all of these now and collaboration uh, involves modern technologies to unite teams from different locations and different time zones now again there is a catch that if we have global teams working together there are time zones there are different constraints which uh, vary from location specifics and geographies so uh, uh, such tools are like very effective in case of organizing stuff and like executing it in a more efficient way and results attained with the uh, with these uh, you say tools are like or any result is or any time attained with a defined process and the way of defining that process can be simplified in a better manner using such collaboration tools such team efficient collaboration tools so let's uh, deep dive into all of these now yeah uh, benefits now let's understand what are the benefits of the using such a remote team management and collaboration apps the very first thing is superior communication now communication is very important between teams like if you say inter like there are multiple verticals in a particular organization and if vertical a or you say uh, team a is not co coordinating with team b and team c the product might suffer the service might suffer and that's the reason there is a cross functional team interaction necessary amongst the teams internally in the teams within the organization and like uh, uh, with other organizations so you can just uh, link it to like intercollegiate intracollegiate competitions so uh, superior communication is very important and that is what is being benefited using remote team management and collaboration applications so uh, not just chat communication but video conferencing again uh, like whiteboards uh, cloud syncs data sharing management many of the, many of these things are like were, uh, possible using such applications second thing that is very important here is better project monitoring now uh, when we discuss when we think of some you say project timeline there has to be some defined process and that process the execution and how the project is progressing in the defined deadline or timeline is all being understood using such software so see these softwares applications and tools are like a boon for uh, you say project managers because it uh, then increases like uh, your efficiency and how you can get more out of that same timeline so that's the reason it's like better for project monitoring third is improved time management and tracking now here as i just mentioned you can track where exactly the team is lagging what is the sprint sprint as in if you have heard the names like agile and scrum or kanban these like there are different frameworks to execute projects in project management but uh, in order to like uh, take this whole uh, theory into application you need some interface some platform some tool to uh, make it possible and such softwares actually benefit in managing projects and programs in a better manner next is more transparency and increased efficiency now you have more transparency in the sense uh, in case you are sharing something with the team and like some teammate is like saying i have not received it yet this is not possible in case of by, by using such kind of softwares because uh, there is like a total uh, log of with whom the files were shared when it was shared and like the whole system can be backed up and there are different features so in short if you just uh, the sum it up it will be like everything is being recorded and yes of course uh, efficiency is increased because tools are sharing being shared on a similar platform where everyone is on the same page uh, whenever the progress or task is being taken enhanced resource management and sharing now enhanced resource management in the sense if there if for example if we consider some mnc uh, the people uh, the, like they have different talents different uh, jobs tasks responsibilities on them so in case if someone from uh, one country wants to work with some other country office still they can energize channelize their resources in such a manner that they can get the best out of it so that is possible again sharing so with cloud applications coming into picture now it has become even more seamless to share data and you say uh, progress within the teams and uh, with other teams so that's the reason sharing has also like uh, 
is enhanced after uh, the introduction of remote team management softwares and effective task reporting, scheduling, and delegation. In case if some uh, issue or bug is not like fixed, then task reporting or you say scheduling, like uh, carrying out different meetings and uh, stand-ups, uh, you say catch-ups, all is possible using these softwares. And again, of course, delegation. In case like you wanna delegate the task or you wanna uh, you uh, escalate the task to someone, that all is possible using such remote team management and collaboration applications. Now, uh, which industries can benefit from the collaboration softwares? So the very first is technology, of course, because uh, uh, majorly technology industry is like having a huge wide scope and it has different dimensions in which we can like utilize the software tools, applications and resources and get the best out of it. So technology is one uh, industry which can like boom, which can boost itself using such uh, tools. Second is advertising. Now, advertising industry also requires a lot of, you say, cycle, like a marketing cycle. Again, advertising and marketing, if you connect, there is like a, a regular flow of materials that needs to be shared, that needs to be conveyed to the customers in such a manner that, yes, uh, that uh, uh, traction should like benefit the product or service. And advertising and marketing industries require it a lot. And uh, in order to schedule and like, share it on a regular basis to understand how the progress flow is how to uh, how the analytics are working these collaboration softwares can definitely like a boon to these industries apart from that government now government industries also require a lot of automations or they require a lot of you say tracking because there's a lot of task uh, list that comes into picture when we talk of government uh, tasks and and at that point it's like uh, we can avoid such lags which take place in government uh, uh, organizations by uh, introducing such softwares and using such softwares in a better manner. Next is healthcare. Like healthcare industry, of course, can like benefit a lot using such collaboration software by sharing their uh, notes, knowledge, and you say tools with different hospitals and medical facilities. It can like boom a lot. It can grow a lot. And that's how a uh, healthcare industry also benefits a lot with such collaboration softwares. Again, e-commerce, you know, it's like the new shop or that's on your fingertip. And even that industry, e-commerce industry, like benefits a lot from such collaboration softwares by which they are like find some common minimum programs and by which they conduct their own sales. And that's, this is how like uh, the e-commerce industry gets a chance to connect with different uh, entities and get the things done. Apart from that, NGOs, like NGOs, there are many NGOs which like uh, are not the, which receive funding, but uh, also there are some which do not receive much. So uh, such collaboration softwares can benefit uh, NGOs to like organize their work in a better manner, in a better workflow, and define their ideas in such a manner that they would get the best out of it. Then next is banking, and this banking sector also can get a lot of automation using such collaboration softwares by means of sharing security, by means of you say understanding the workflows and. Uh, reducing the manual effort that needs to be put into the banking tasks and last but not least it's also the construction industry which can like automate their whole process of like constructing one particular monument or structure or, or you say a building and they can like uh, energize and get a better understanding of what things can go wrong how much can be the variance and all and such all factors come into the construction collaboration software so that's how these are like uh, uh, a broad picture. This is like a broad picture of all the industries which are like benefited uh, using such collaboration softwares. Now, uh, let's understand the types, features of team collaboration tools. So, uh, file sharing is one thing. As I mentioned, it is a primary uh, feature which is necessary because uh, these days we need to share a lot of files, PDFs, documents, and the PowerPoint presentations and all. So file sharing is, will help. Second is instant messaging like WhatsApp or you say WeChat. There are different chat applications which are necessary for instant messaging and like keeping the track of the flow. Then third is video conferencing. Now video uh, has like gained a lot of traction during this pandemic because uh, many companies like completely switched online. And for that they needed video conferencing tools. So that is possible by means of such applications. Whiteboards. Now whiteboards are to 
on uh, like right on the screen and by using cursor or you say stylus so whiteboards or whiteboard applications with uh, such applications which support whiteboards or you say freehand writing or uh, sketching that these are also like gaining a lot of traction next are calendar sharing tools now what are calendar sharing tools like uh, uh, you can block calendars you can like uh, have a block uh, you say some person's time for meetings and like uh, sync up the calendars for different uh, activities this is all possible using such collaboration tools and softwares then document sync tools now document synchronization tools are ones which are like uh, for example it's google doc so in, in case if you are writing uh, many people are working on the same document they can just access the same document and make the changes all together by using such documentation sync tools and the last but not the least is cloud storage so cloud uh, uh, like benefits a lot as i said and it is it has like enhanced the capabilities whichever are mentioned above in such a dimension that yes now uh, even the things which were not possible before are possible now so cloud is the you say a fundamental feature that has actually boosted that has boomed all the above mentioned features along with the collaboration efficiencies so now uh, let's explore uh, what we discussed till now in detail now these logos or names are like very familiar to many of us we regularly like use some of these and uh, yes the rest are also like some heard names so uh, facetime we know like it's like very widely used people uh, used to like uh, uh, always say that let's facetime so uh, it has be it had become so synonymous that facetime is used for like a video conferencing apart from that the next logo is facebook messenger so messenger is also widely used uh and it is like uh, from the company facebook so facebook messenger also supports video calling and all so that's the reason it was like used for video conferences and chats where uh, there was no not much functionality needed just uh, uh you say a video interface then zoom zoom is like a very popular name now so on zoom we uh, like uh, uh, attend and like conduct various webinars sessions workshops and all so zoom is again uh, like supporting screen controls and again screen sharing and all such stuff so zoom is a popular name next is microsoft skype so skype again has uh, various use cases so it is like uh, a very very old player in this industry and yes many people still prefer skype uh, those who have a microsoft account can easily like access skype and like get their things done uh, whatsapp again now whatsapp has introduced uh, video calling features and all and it also allows you to create a conference room so uh, such uh, special features like have like gained a lot of popularity these days and the graph below shows that how the names which i just mentioned are like popular amongst the crowd if you check in percentages google duo uh, uh, another tool by google and even the, it has like uh, adapted by a lot of many people uh, when you have any android device it comes uh, like as a standard use of software that is inbuilt then google meet is again used for uh, like conducting meetings and sessions and all so google meet is another tool that is like uh, blessed with a lot many functionalities like screen sharing and uh, you say chat and all so that's how google meet boosts it then next is microsoft teams now microsoft teams if i talk about this tool specifically uh, it has a lot much to offer like compared to the all of our competitors which i just mentioned microsoft teams is like a whole uh, workspace in itself like uh, you can chat you can share you can create channels you can have teams uh, you can have multiple resources and all like all together so microsoft teams is like not just coming into this section uh, but it also comes into the uh, comparison when we talk about slack and asana and other project management tools because microsoft teams has got so so many functionalities like if you just install microsoft teams we will get to see that uh, you can create channels and all like slack you can also have video conferences like the above ones and apart from that it also has like integrations with sharepoint and all other microsoft cloud based solutions so it is uh, a better solution now like it is constantly upgrading and yes uh, it we can like switch to microsoft teams it's a very good option next is cisco webex now cisco again is a very old player in this uh, video conferencing industry and Cisco was here even then before the above mentioned players were not into picture so Cisco was like very trusted one and now but still like compared to the uh, newer solutions Cisco is like preferred by some old organizations who, who have like uh, been working into the industry and they prefer it for pr privacy and security 
next is telegram now telegram has also uh, got a lot many functionalities and features like it's for chats and messaging messaging uh, usage uh, progress and all and it it is like uh, very uh, uh, efficient in terms of sharing heavy files which whatsapp or you say basic chat applications cannot share so telegram is also one preferred medium for communication these days and uh, apart from that there's one more player that is go to meeting so this is also used for video conferencing and conducting sessions and all so uh, let's revise once again that is facetime then it was messenger zoom skype whatsapp google duo google meet microsoft teams cisco webex telegram and go to meeting so these are some uh, very common names which we have heard which we have used at some of the other point and uh, these are like very popular players in the market at this point uh, that have a uh, lot many functionalities some of them have free tiers mostly all of them have free, free tiers the ones which are on the screen at this point and you can give a try to these features and like get the best out of it so that's how uh, the preferred ones are now the next like remote team tools video conferencing recording broadcasting sharing and control now uh, these are some players which probably are like known to some uh, experts but not everyone is aware of these tools now let's like jump into all of these the very first is zoho meeting so zoho meeting is like again a meet tool where you can like have video conferencing and uh, you say chat functionalities and all so zoho meeting is one other solution that is provided by the company zoho so you can uh, try it out it also has free to your plan so it's a, a good try next is click meeting so click meeting again the name suggest meeting so it's a meet application just like zoom and google hang google meet and all so you can conduct different sessions workshops meetings and all using click meeting and there 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 are like plans like various enterprise business professional and other plans which are available in the click meeting software next is whereby so whereby is also like uh, 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 another competitor in the same uh, scale which has like uh, functionalities you don't need a whereby account to like attend meetings it is so somewhat similar to zoom where uh, you can just directly join the meeting even if you are not a customer for whereby so that's about whereby next is intermedia any meeting so again this is for a meeting tool amazon kind uh, like blue jeans these are some uh, lesser known names but are uh, like having similar functionalities to the ones which we just spoke of in the previous screen uh, another tool that has been introduced is geo meet so geo meet is one tool that also again is uh, similar to zoom and its functionality is just like zoom where you like uh, uh, can easily join and like connect with uh, anyone who's using geo meet so that's another fun fabulous functionality join me mikogo ring and all are like another uh, different players in the same uh, sector so that's how conferencing recording broadcasting sharing and control is possible using these tools i have uh, like purposefully kept youtube here because youtube and uh, stream labs these are some tools which are like used to stream a lot many sessions like if there are any live sessions which are being taken care like just like just like the one which we have right now so youtube allows you to stream directly and you can record such sessions you can broadcast such sessions again stream labs uh, does the same uh, in another side we we'll see discord so again discord allows you to stream and all so like these are some uh, hybrid versions which actually like uh, resonate with uh, conferencing tools also broadcasting and sharing control tools also so that is the reason youtube and stream labs also join this club then uh, screen leap is again used to like record screens and like get the uh, you say recordings and meeting uh, session recordings next now coming to the uh, list at the bottom so from jitsi meet we can like have a uh, different functionalities now jitsi is an open source solution for meetings where you can have whiteboards and uh, different other functions by which you can simply connect with teammates and like coordinate well streamyard the one which we are using right now for this session is just like i am just speaking on front of my screen and it's being streamed on different uh, platforms so streamyard is like a, a cluster of all such platforms so which has like uh, functionalities if you just log in and have that kind of plan you can like stream on multiple platforms next cloud is like uh, one other problem uh, you say program that allows you to work on different uh, you say conferences meetings and applications so next cloud is another solution any desk now this any desk is, is like a very popular name which allows you to like gain remote access to the systems and like 
uh, carry out different uh, operations easily. You don't need to like be physically present in front of the desktop or the screen. You can just like access it remotely uh, by using some code, and it's like a very good. Uh, you say uh, thing about any desk even zoom now uh, features uh, uh, has this such kind of a feature where you can uh, remotely access the screen and like get your things done wire is another competitor here then loom loom is also like used for screen recording and you say different screen uh, tools and applications so loom team weaver is uh, like one other popular name in this same category where uh, teams from different locations can like uh, view and like gain access to the system and get their things done. Uh, Google Chrome Remote Desktop. Now this is again similar to any desk where you just need to like access. You can access the system, any system remotely by just uh, connecting with that system via code, and uh, that's how it is like very easy nowadays not to like uh, spend too much in traveling. Instead, you can just access remotely and get your things done. Big blue button is again and Jami. These are like some lesser known names, but yes, they also have wonderful functionalities for screen and different operations that we can carry out using screen. So uh, the only thing about these, which I would like to mention here is like if in, if you using such tools like any desk, Google Chrome, remote desktop, team weaver or some uh, use uh, tools which can like give access to some other location or you say some other PC. Please be careful while sharing such, uh, you say, grant because it can be risky at points in case if it is like being used by someone uh, who is like a foreign person who is not the one who was intended to use it. It might result into data loss or you say data theft and uh, there can be severe consequences. So the only suggestion here at this point is that in case if you are sharing your screen or in case if you are like uh, gi giving uh, the screen access to someone else, Please be careful that the person at the other end is a trusted one because uh, uh, there are many cases where like because of this uh, many huge problems arise and that is the reason. Uh, nowadays we are like very uh, like uh, that it, these all tools are like made it very easy for us to like just click on share screen and we can share the whole screen but uh, if at all we are revealing a lot we are exposing a lot of our personal information or you say data on the cloud or you say on the web it can be really risky so just uh, you say a humble suggestion that guys uh, in case if you are like opting for any of the solutions either these or either these please be sure please be careful while like giving access to the applications because these applications are smart enough to like gain access to your location to your uh, browsing history to uh, different you say uh, activities that you have conducted while running that application so uh, and even uh, now facebook has like off uh, uh, facebook activity setting so even if you're not on facebook facebook knows which application uh, you are actually accessing so uh, we are not aware of such privacy policies and user terms and conditions and that is the reason uh, many a times we tend to overexpose a lot of things which are not necessary so uh, just as uh, you say thing that please be careful while sharing or granting access or you say uh, giving the access to someone else using these tools that's about thing so just revising once again the name is zoho meeting click meeting then whereby intermedia any meeting amazon kind youtube nikogo ring geo meet join me blue jeans stream labs uh, screen leap glip next cloud stream yard jitsi meet loom team weaver uh, google chrome remote desktop blue button jami and any desk so these were some you say around 20 tools which have similar functionalities to the main players but are like used uh, internally within different companies and mnc's yeah now this uh, sheet again looks a lot many big i understand but let's jump into these because these are the tools for project management and whiteboards so uh, it took me a lot of time to research on this project like when i uh, first thought of this topic that we can have a session on this i thought like it would hardly be around 20 30 tools but like it was a huge list of tools and i had to like run each of these and test which are the most efficient ones and all but i could find like these around you said 25 plus tools which are like very good for project management and they have whiteboard functionalities and all so let's start dapals on monday.com like as anonymous so it is like Dapulse is a new name for Monday.com. So these are project management, uh, uh, you say, pioneers, followed by Proof Hub. 
so uh, some of them have free features uh, some of them are paid but uh, mostly like everyone gives a trial so you can like definitely uh, just search these names on the web and you can easily access such uh, project management and whiteboard tools uh, these tools can like very well benefit uh, the ones who are like not having a lot of funds also the ones who are having a lot of funds because uh, they have free tiers and you say enterprise versions so depending upon your use case your size, team size and all you can like definitely choose any of these and get your things more efficient so uh, scoro then i can click up milanote asana linnu all these are like different uh, project management tools now what is a project management tool for example if you have a project uh, in your hand or your team is planning to have a project in your hand you need to plan the proper flow of the project how uh, long will it take i'll give you a very good live example for example if you are a developer and you need to develop a website in probably uh, two months so it is 60 days now how will you distribute these 60 days uh, like you will have to create some Gantt chart and Gantt chart is just like a pr proper timeline flow where uh, you can like specify like first 15 days are for research and identification of different tools. Six, next are like next 20 days are for you say gaining the content and assets and all. The next 30 days are like for uh, some other tasks. So this is how you can divide the flow for different uh, operations for different activities and then uh, like plan your final outcome uh, with a you say a proposed date we, or you could say uh, an estimated timeline so that is how uh, these project management applications like this is the start which i explained now for example on that website you have two three developers working simultaneously some will be working on the creative side some will be working on the coding side some will be on the testing side so now how these guys how these resources are to be allocated so again this part can be easily solved using such project management tools where you can just a lot you can just assign that particular person for example a is very good at designing logos and creatives he will have to uh, create the logo in you say first two days then he will have to create assets like the different for the different uh, you say web pages in around 10 days so you can like just assign him the task you can give him some deadline and that's how you can track his progress so that's how uh, a can like uh, regularly refer to the tasks allotted to him and he can get his things done on time if, for example, B is good at coding, you can allot him the tasks like uh, firstly uh, writing the basic code, then structuring, then like uh, proofreading the code, removing the unwanted snippets and all. So again, this process can be uh, like defined in terms of time. You can like allot a lot many uh, you say blockers where probably one part can be just writing the basic structure, then like coding, then like taking uh, uh, proofreading the code, then removing the unused snippets and all and you can divide it in uh, you say majorly into a timeline which can have different checklists so even checklists are possible using project management applications now if c is good at testing so after a and b are done with the test then c will check uh, while checking what parameters c has to test everything is like again mentioned in terms of notes and checklists using such project management applications and here again how uh, uh, like uh, if there are any quality fixes like if there are any bugs or problems then how c will allot it to b and a that again is like possible with these project management tools and uh, in case if you want to add some new functionality you need to ideate you need to think that how can uh, we uh, like uh, structure it out now many a times while structuring a lot many times we don't have anything specific in our mind we just have like raw ideas now in during like uh, ideating or brainstorming we don't even like have a proper flow so at that point we need something on the screen that can be easily movable that can be mobile that can like move according to your choice you can just like free hand uh, you can have a free hand control to it that is all possible with whiteboard applications where you can just like just like a normal whiteboard this whiteboard is just a virtual whiteboard where you can like have different shapes you can have uh, fonts text and all and that can like boost the overall functionality that can like give you a proper flow in an organized manner in a graphical on a graphical interface and it, it, it can be like compared to the one which we have on paper or you say uh, uh, in reality it can be more inviting because it will have colors and you say specifiers fonts and different changes according to your vision so that's how project management and whiteboard tools or whiteboard applications boost productivity they boost teamwork they boost efficiency 
many teams can access the same uh, document or you say whiteboards at a time and they can add their tasks there and also tracking monitoring how the progress is how where are the uh, teams lagging what is going wrong in terms of project or you say uh, how is the budget allocation is the budget sufficient everything can be like visualized in an organized in a well proper planned manner using these project management and whiteboard tools so let's like just uh, have a look at the different names because uh, their names mostly are like uh, uh, very uh, you say to the point so even their names are uh, in that uh, their names themselves define their functionalities for example if we talk about freehand it is for like visualizing whatever you have in your mind you can just have uh, freely it on the, uh, on the screen to do list to do list is like again a checklist kind of an application if you go to asana uh, it's like for uh, organizing the tools and like having uh, uh, assigning it to people click up again is like same like it, you can like assign you can have gantt chart so here again we were talking about trello github like these all tools are very much popular and these tools have you see different functionalities which can boost up productivity in a better manner github is used to share like uh, code snippets and all so in the developer community again github has a very good name uh, active collab explain everything strong board so whatever board names you see like concept board and all these are the whiteboard applications which uh, like can help you ideate which can help you create your vision into reality that's about the different project management and whiteboard applications next is team communication software and applications now uh, the very popular name in this sect section is the slack so what is slack slack has like uh, a functionality where you can create channels for different teams you can like uh, uh, share updates you can have general channels you can have help desk channels you can uh, have some private channels where you uh, you share different sorts of information uh, of course in an organization there are a lot many employees and not every department needs to know uh, uh, some uh, all the updates there are specific updates for specific departments some for all the departments so this can be like well organized and uh, using slack so slack is being like a very trusted competitor in this whole sector because uh, many companies very big com companies also use slack for communication within the employees and like keeping privacy to the best next in this is element matter most rocket chat chanty flock copono twist discord flock doc zulip wechat so these are some other you say names uh, in this uh, section where team communication uh, software is like uh, boosted efficiently so the major tasks of team communication software if we just have to uh, revise once again it can be instant messaging video conferencing document sharing and online training these four things are like very effectively possible using team communication softwares and applications so uh, you can definitely give a try to slack because it has uh, very good features apart from slack flock chanty rocket chat element and uh, the other names which i just mentioned all have a lot many features and functionalities together so definitely it's worth the try now fos collaboration softwares open project collab community collaborative of group office sin and exo open pass now these names are free and open source collaboration softwares you don't need to like uh, pay anything as such to use any of these these are like seven open source solutions in collaboration software so you can just uh, google these names or you can just uh, search these names on the web and uh, gain an access to these softwares and energize and like channelize your work into a better manner so the names are open project collab community collaborative group office sin.in exo and open pass open pass itself says it's smart open source digital workspace so these are the seven fos solutions that is free and open source solutions in this section now collaboration and augmentation are the foundational principles of innovation yes and i uh, like genuinely agree with the statement and because if you collaborate you have a lot many perspectives and ideas and focus on collaboration instead of competition yes that is again a very uh, good booster because it will help you to uh, think more about your own service or product in a very different manner and you, it will actually like boost your confidence boost your sales and whatever uh, your targets are if you focus on collaboration instead of just competition next is teamwork is like it makes the dream work possible of course so uh, whatever new product services or you say ideas are 
all these are possible just because you uh, work in unison, you work together. Uh, and uh, as we know the old saying, none of us is as smart as all of us. So we have to like think on collaboration. We have to like, of course, compete in this competitive world. But uh, like while working together, we should definitely keep this in mind that collaborating uh, effectively, collaborating humbly can really lead to a lot of, you say, master strokes and that will really boost the overall productivity. So that's about today's session. I hope uh, I could give you some very good uh, solutions, technical solutions available in the market. And uh, uh, the references to this whole uh, session, the idea was from Wikipedia, tech journals, and some blogs. So thank you to the tech platform and Delta Innovators, my organization, for like uh, allowing us to share uh, such kind of uh, meaningful, worthy information with all of us. And uh, before like signing off, I would like to just uh, showcase my LinkedIn profile. So in case guys, you have any doubts, you can uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn. My name is Shubham Dumbre and uh, the organization is Delta The Innovators. So that's about the session. Sophia, I hope you can take up the charge now. Yeah, Shubham. Hey, Shubham, uh, right now we have uh, one, someone asked us that uh, his name is um, Shubham Gupta. He okay. asked that what are the name of the softwares and what are the best ways to use them? Uh, for which softwares exactly? Like um, Exactly, I think so. Uh, he must be the softwares which you named. You just uh, uh, you just do one thing. You just explain uh -huh. a brief uh, okay. name some of the softwares which you feel like that would be, uh, you know, uh, best for the teamwork. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so if you are talking about project management tools, Trello is one very good option. If you are talking about team communication, Slack is like the most preferred one where you can have different channels and you can take conduct different surveys and all using Slack. Uh, if you are talking about development, then like GitHub is a collaborative platform. Again, then with GitHub, you, uh, you have Microsoft tools like Microsoft Project and Yammer to uh, boost up the productivity uh, on that front. Skype can be used for video conferencing. These days, like uh, people uh, are switching more to the iOS devices probably. So we can like have uh, FaceTime also into this uh, whole category. If you talk about uh, free and open source solutions, then we have Jitsi Meet, a very good collaborative solution where you can uh, definitely like have whiteboards and all into picture. Miro is good for uh, having, you say, small uh, snippets or you say, uh, what we call it list small lists of ideas and like collaborating and keeping it on a main dashboard so miro is one other solution and uh, last but not the least if you talk about overall productivity microsoft teams is the best solution because it has like all the functionalities which i mentioned just in different different softwares the only thing is with microsoft teams that you have to understand different controls but once you understand those you can definitely boost your productivity okay so uh Shivam, I would like to say, Shivam, that uh, if uh, still you want uh, something that you are, you want something more about the softwares, you want something more in very much details, and you can directly reach Mr. Shivam Dumre. He shared his LinkedIn profile with us. You can directly reach and ask any of the question, whichever you want. So sure. uh, this session was a very good session that uh, people uh, know it. People know the softwares of the teamwork, but they. There are many more softwares. The, right now, people know only Zoom call, the Teams, and just a few one. But they have we have a lot of softwares, which people don't know how they work, what is they used, and everything. So this Correct. session was for this only, that there are multiple of softwares, wow. and you can use any of the softwares, which each software have different requirements, different tools, different usage, and everything is different from other softwares. So this was the best session that uh, you get to know about the tools, the teamwork, which is going right now with everyone, because everyone is doing work from home. So people still, if you want to question anything regarding the teamwork, regarding any of the softwares, please reach us and feel free to ask any, any of the questions. We will answer you back in uh, details without any problem. So, sure. uh, Shubham, you want to add something in the end? Yes, just be uh, very sure with whom you are sharing the access and control, with whom 
what information you are sharing because uh, yeah. we uh, never know whether we are encrypted or like anyone is watching us who is not intended to watch us so if you are yeah. giving giving access using any desk or some other software that allows you to like share your screen or you say give your control to someone else please be sure yeah. and take care of privacy that's important yeah okay sure so uh, goodbye for now and uh, we will be right back after a few days with the something with the new session regarding you know some microsoft office or maybe something else we'll be right back so yeah. uh, stay safe and stay at home okay goodbye yeah. for now yeah thank you everyone bye thank you so much